In this video we will discuss about definition and scope of economics. This is also important for professional exams. This will be the first video of our basic concepts of economics playlist. We will cover all the topics here. The analysis of the economic environment requires the knowledge of economic decision making and hence the study of economics is significant. There are four definitions of economics. Wealth definition, welfare definition, scarcity definition, and growth oriented definition. So let's see the first one which is wealth definition. Adam Smith defined economics as a science which inquired into the nature and cause of the wealth of nations. According to this definition, economics is a science of study of wealth only. It deals with production, distribution, and consumption. This wealth centered definition deals with the causes behind the creation of wealth, and it only considers material wealth. There are some criticisms of this definition. Wealth is of no use unless it satisfies human wants. This definition is not of much importance to man and welfare. Now let's talk about the second one which is welfare definition. According to Alfred Marshall, economics is the study of man in the ordinary business of life. It examines how a person gets his income and how he invests it. Thus on one side, it is a study of wealth and on the other most important side, it is a study of well-being. Features of Marshall's definition are Economics is a study of those activities that are concerned with material welfare of man. Economics deals with the study of man in ordinary business of life. The study inquires how an individual gets his income and how he uses it. Economics is the study of personal and social activities concerned with material aspects of well-being. Marshall emphasized on definition of material welfare. Herein lies the distinction with Adam Smith's definition, which is wealth-centric. Now the third one is, scarcity definition. This definition was put forward by Robbins. According to him economics is a science that studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Features of scarcity definition are Human wants are unlimited. Alternative use of scarce resources. Efficient use of scarce resources, and Need for optimization. After the scarcity definition we have growth-oriented definition. This definition was introduced by Paula Samuelson. According to the definition economics is the study of how man and society choose with or without the use of money to employ the scarce productive resources, which have alternative uses, to produce various commodities over time and distributing them for consumption, how or in the future among various person or groups in society. It analyzes costs and benefits of improving patterns of resource allocation. So these are the definitions we have. If you see any question that is asking a definition just write the definition and explain the features of that. Now we will talk about scope of economics. There are also two approaches if we think about scope of economics. Traditional approach and modern approach. In the traditional approach, it is believed that economics is a social science. It studies man's behavior as a rational social being. It is considered a science of wealth in relation to human welfare. Earning and spending income was considered the end of all economic activities. Wealth was considered as a means to an end the end being human welfare. Under the modern approach, we believe an individual, either as a consumer or as a producer, can optimize his goal is an economic decision. The scope of economics lies in analyzing economic problems and suggesting policy measures. Social problems can thus be explained by abstract theoretical tools or by empirical methods. In classical discussion, economics is a positive science. It seeks to explain what the problem is and how it tends to be solved. In modern time it is both a positive and a normative science. Economists of today deal economic issues not merely as they are but also as they should be. Welfare economics and growth economics are more normative than positive. These are the definitions and scopes of economics, hope this will help you in the exam. In our next video, we will discuss micro and macroeconomics and interdependence between them. Thanks for watching.